So in 2018, this guy submits a prototype pollution vulnerability in this uh, node.extend module. Um, he gives a pretty straightforward proof of concept where he's providing in the json.parse method a really basic uh, json prototype pollution. Uh, and he's basically polluting the global object with this is admin property, which is going to resolve to true. This can be a kind of advanced topic to talk about, especially if you don't have experience with JavaScript. But I'll try to give a um, I'll try to give an example here. So if we just get into a node shell, um, let me preface everything here by saying that almost everything in JavaScript is an object. And, you know, objects, they have properties, properties and methods. And methods are basically just properties that, that can, you know, do a function, right? Uh, so a object that I think about in JavaScript is console. And then I immediately think of the log property, which is a, a method that allows us to output text to the screen, right? And in JavaScript, we can also create our own objects as well and in order to do that we have to create create a class so let's say I want to create a class called a pet and to make better sense of this classes are basically structures that allow us to define the parameters of the objects that we want to create so I'm gonna create a, uh, a pet class and I'm gonna give gonna define the properties that I want the objects uh, assigned under the pet class to have so in order to do that, we're going to use the constructor keyword and I want there to be a um, breed property ooh -woo, and a uh, name property. <laughs> and I'm going to say this breed equals breed and this name equals name. Basically, these are going to be arguments that are supplied to the pet class when we are defining the objects. And that should do it. And now I'm going to create an object based on this uh, class that we just created. I'll say let my dog equal a new instance of the pet class. And my dog's breed is going to be a corgi. And my dog's name is going to be Ein. And now I can uh, give an example of the property breed and name. Now let's try and create another object. Mm. That's not how you spell that, but sure. <laughs> uh, yeah, my cat name read cool now what if I want to give a an extra property to one of these objects that I've just created I could do something like that like that and now it had now the uh, cat object has that property but the dog object does not you can see it's undefined now, what if I want to give that property to all the instances of, of uh, pet objects, right? Uh, what if I, and, and what if I have like hundreds of these objects and it just becomes way too tedious to try and, you know, do it one by one? Well, we can do something like this. We're going to use the prototype property and we'll say is cute equals true. And now we can do my dog is cute and we can see that it has that property because we've uh, instead of doing it specifically to that object we did it to the root object the the uh, the root of the, the basically the pet class essentially uh, this is kind of like weird because it's not really a class like it's like we're borrowing the properties that are given to the uh, the class itself right um, Anyway, this becomes a vulnerability when we use both the, uh, the prototype and the underscore underscore proto property. And let me just give an example. I'm just going to create some empty objects here. 
and then let hacker, right? And let's say I want to do um, something like this. I'm going to do a check here. And we can see it's false. But what if, um, what if hacker comes along and does something like this? And now we just try this again. We can see that the user now has the property of admin, even though the uh, hacker object did it, because we've now polluted the root object of basically all objects in JavaScript currently. And we can uh, we can demonstrate this by doing console.admin. And that's true. We've polluted basically all objects in JavaScript. And this becomes an issue when we're looking at an application that is using some sort of like validation of, uh, you know, the, the permissions that users have, right? If we're able to pollute the root object, we'll be able to bypass, you know, authentication or, or validation of permissions of, of, of uh, accounts. And I basically, I've made a pretty basic example of this. I just log in here. Um, we can, you know, download something from a URL that we provide. If we try it, we can see we are not the admin. That's that's no bueno. And we can, um, if we open up the source code of the page, we can see that we are sending a uh, XML HTTP request to the admin admin check endpoint. And uh, this is. Uh, basically, the the values that we provide in here is uh, being put into a JSON payload that, that is then sent via a post request, and uh, it's saying, "Hey, can we uh, it, it check if I'm an admin and let me download a thingy?" Then, if we look at the source code of this, uh, we can see that we are de defining a uh, constant variable called extend, which is going to contain that node.extend module. And uh, if we go to uh, here, we go. This is where we're checking to see if the admin is if the user that is logged in has the admin permissions. And if we go back to the top. Uh, we can see that the admin user here uh, contains that value, but the regular user, the guest guest user, does not. So if we uh, go back here, we can see this is using the extend function, which was uh, assigned the um, node dot node dot extend the vulnerable node dot extend module. So uh, a really straightforward way to to exploit this going to have to log off here in order for this to work out. And I could just send a curl request here. It looks something like this. Um, this is me currently logged into my Raspberry Pi where I am running the uh, application. And we're just going to send a post request to that admin admin check endpoint. We're going to uh, define the uh, application JSON content type in the header so that the, this payload will actually work. And we're putting in the key of the JSON payload, the proto property, and that's containing the is admin, which will resolve to true. We can say it says forbidden, but as well, if we go back to the shell as we're running it, we can see. The uh, user that tried to access that endpoint is not logged in. However, they are an admin because we've polluted that that property. And now, because it's polluted basically at the root object, all users that are logged in now are admins. And if we do that, we try, we just basically bypass the admin check that way. So that's. I, I hope that that makes sense. Leave a comment asking if, if uh, be, be like, hey, Giuseppe, this, this demonstration, it makes no sense. I'll, I, I hope that I can do better if that is the case.
But um, yeah, that's that's server-side prototype pollution, and I think it's pretty cool. <laughs>